you can use to, to you know, function on a daily basis. And then to your point, Philip, um, a lot of times you're going to have to have some ability to remote connect into your normal day-to-day -day business. Now, um, some, some people have a laptop that they use no matter where they go and it doesn't change. But if you have a, a, a desktop at the office that you need to actually remote into, use some sort of tool or software to remote into that workstation, so you're picking up right where you left off, um, you're definitely gonna wanna make sure you have some sort of a, a secure uh, two-factor authentication. Um, that's, that's gonna give you that added level of protection. Um, and there's a number of different tools, some are outdated, some technologies like VPNing and, and some of the RDP tools out there, remote desktop um, programs. Uh, there's some, some outdated technology, there's some newer technology that's, that's easier to use. So, so making sure you, you do your research or, or talk to someone who knows um, what the best solution is, uh, but something that's gonna have a two-factor authentication, like you mentioned, Philip, that has that extra level of security. Um, and then in terms of your home work environment, your, your home office, so to speak, your new, your new workstation, you have to make sure that you have, you know, the right monitors set up. If you, if you need multiple monitors, you know, if you have certain cables, uh, in order to, to recreate your everyday work environment uh, so that the transition is as easy as possible. And all you really need are those tools, you know, those, those remote connection tools, the remote communication and collaboration tools. So making sure you have the right software in place to be able to communicate with your fellow employees, your clients, um, but also be able to exchange information, share files, um, and really run your business as if nothing's changed. That's what we're, that's what we have the capability to do. That's at Stickboy, that's what we were able to do um, when this happened. You know, we were able to just start working remotely as if nothing's changed. And I'd say only about 30% of businesses fall into that category to where they're prepared to work from home, allow their employees to work from home safely uh, during the stay at home order. Well, that's one thing, you know, I'm, some, one of our members asked me, you know, could we work from home? And I learned the hard way, and maybe our member, this is more of a comment, I guess, but when I first started, Irma happened. And I figured out really quick that staff could not work from home. We couldn't access our files. We had the server, you know, the old server in the office. We had one person with a laptop. It was just a nightmare. So, you know, we, we've, we've transitioned, you know, it took a while and a little bit of money, but we've transitioned now to all of us can work from home. We can do everything that we normally do in the office at, at, at the, uh, at home. So it's been nice. Um, so I would suggest people, if you're, this is a good time to sort of evaluate, going forward hey this is going to happen again or hurricanes are going to happen and things like that so be prepared so that you can you can go ahead and make the changes and it wasn't that expensive you know honestly to, to transition everything to the cloud and and those type things and most of our programs are web-based and so um, more importantly i think just having um a continuity plan in place you know some sort of plan in place to when something like this happens whether it's a hurricane or something unforeseen where your, your employees need to be able to work from home or, you know, somehow your, your day-to-day uh, business activities are disrupted. You need to have a plan in place to have alternative solutions. So that's where those cloud solutions, those remote work environments, and a lot of these tools that you can use um, come into play to make that possible. The other thing that came up the other day, somebody, let's see, what about, I was looking at my email list of, um, things that came in for the, oh, somebody was asking that, I guess they were working with a company, their, their, their IT company, and they're working from home and they've had some issues with their emails or, you know, uh, just some spoofing, just some problems. And their IT company's like, well, we can't really log in because you're not, you know, you're not in the office. So we can't access your, your laptops to try to look at what's going on but that's not the case because I know we've had some issues and you guys have been able to log in so can you talk about that aspect because somebody called me and they said their IT company was like oh well, you have to go plug your laptop in at the office in order for us to access it and fix things right yeah that, that's probably one of those outdated remote access technologies I was talking okay. about that um, you know what what we use and what we help help you use is um, you know, a tool that we're able to connect remotely uh, to your, 
your workstation. Now you're lucky because you're set up in a position to where you can work from anywhere. Uh, but to your point, uh, a lot of people have to remote into an existing workstation. Now, you know, we, we have a, a tool that's as easy as we could send you a link. You could double click it and download it onto your computer. And you have a tool to now remote connect in with two factor authentication. It could be done in 15 minutes. You know, we just, uh, I, I, we just, deployed it for one of our clients, Elite Electrical, at about 15 employees. And within minutes, we're able to, um, you know, get them up and rolling to where they can remote into their normal computer so that they can work from home, but nothing's changed. And that's where some of the newer, more emerging uh, advanced technologies out there can be leveraged to make that transition as seamless and, and easy as possible. So if somebody's sitting there, if a member's out there working and they're having issues and they're like, this is not working. We have outdated things. So it's, it's not too late to sort of jump in and try to get some updates and things. And so to make it easier, because this thing's probably going on for a couple of, what, another two, three weeks, probably. Hopefully right. not. But, uh, <laughs> right. Anybody have any questions? I'm okay. Uh, let's see. Can you discuss, this is from the Ray who's on the beautiful beach. Um, Hanging out. You got Corona beer in there with you. Uh, <laughs> can you discuss which systems are outdated and which are not? Yeah, so it's a good question. Um, I, I think there, there's two answers. One, uh, some of the more outdated like VPN technologies um, are, they, they'll slow you down. Uh, there's more steps. There's more of a process to connect. And it, it's, it's not as seamless as you would think. Um, the other the other piece is whatever you are using, you need to make sure you have some form of a two factor authentication. So the actual employee, the user, can recognize that this remote connection is happening, approve it, and then they're now able to to access um, their their computer. So um, I think it's a there's a lot of different tools out there. Um, we we use a remote monitoring tool for all of our clients. That's what we're able to remote into. Philip, when you have an issue with your email yeah. or, or any problems, we're able to remote in. We don't actually have to come into his office. Well, what we're able to do is allow our clients to use that same technology where we can set them up so they can use the tool the same way we, we are and log into their computer, but from their home computer. Um, so that's, that's the, the way we use it. And it has a, a two-factor authentication process, which adds that additional layer of security. Um, but the list is, is long, you know, there, there's a lot of different technologies out there. I think if you have an IT company, I would talk to them about your options, do some research. If you don't have an IT company, you know, definitely reach out to someone um, who, who you think would, would have, you know, the, those more specific answers. I think it depends, every environment is different too. To Philip's point, you know, do you have a physical server? Do you, are you, is your business running in the cloud? Um, so there's, there's a lot of questions that have to be answered, um, but, but I, I think that the answer is that a lot of people do things because that's how they've always done it. That doesn't necessarily mean it's the best solution and that there's not something better out there. Okay, another question came in. Let's see, this was on my list. Uh, what are some free services that the big tech companies are offering? I guess we're all trying to save money <laughs> in this time so what are there some free services and things we can take advantage of absolutely well, i saw a quick um a quick question just just oh yeah through, i think yeah Lorraine, right. just uh, thought oh, and too. viscosity or log yeah so um i haven't personally used viscosity i'm familiar with log me in but just to give you a quick answer i would consider log me in as one of the outdated technologies that that i was talking about more outdated, I would say. Uh, getting back to the other question is, are, are there some, hey, look, we're all looking to save a buck, especially this time. So right. is there any, you know, technologies that, you know, that might be free out there that we can use apps? I mean, I don't know anything that we could, you know, to, to help us, you know, better improve our working from home. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, I know that, um, you know, some of the bigger software companies like uh, Google, Microsoft, Zoom, we're using Zoom meeting right now. Um, 
some of those bigger technology companies are either giving away their products for free or they're allowing free upgrades um, to existing plans or new plans. Um, so if you have a Google uh, G Suite, if, if that's what your business runs on um, and you use Google's products, so, so Gmail and Google Calendar and um, the whole G Suite, I know that they're offering Google Hangouts Meet, which is um, the other tool that we actually used for the, the last webinar that we did with, with the county commissioner and then also the meeting tomorrow. So Google Hangouts Meet is a really good video conferencing tool that's part of G Suite. Um, so they're giving free access to this upgraded tool to any, any G Suite users. Um, I know Microsoft Teams, I don't know if, they're, if Microsoft is giving anything away that I've heard, um, but they are offering free trials like they normally do and there's no cap on the number of users that can be a part of that free trial. So, so people who don't have another tool um, can, can try Microsoft Teams out for free uh, with no cap on, on users. Um, another collaboration tool, a, a communication tool that Stickboy uses every day, and I know a lot of businesses use, is called Slack. It's a messaging tool. You can share files. You can create channels. Um, it's really a group communication tool more than anything. So I know Slack is giving free access to any healthcare related field or scientific researchers. Um, so I know Slack is definitely going to be, um, you know, putting out free, free support and free services, just like these other companies. Um, Zoom, as I believe they removed their 40 minute limit, which is good because that'll allow us to, uh, you know, go longer than 40 minutes on this call if you want, um, if we want to. So, so some of these conferencing call um, conferencing tools and video conferencing softwares. Um, they're, they're giving away really their free, free tools yeah. so that you can use it. So people can work remote. At the end of the day, we want to help people work remote. You can tell these large companies like Google and Microsoft, Slack and Zoom, um, you know, they're, they're giving their services away for free uh, because really at the end of the day, people need to be working re remotely right now. Um, we're at a point right now where Lee County, you know, we had the state, executive order, stay-at-home order from Ron DeSantis. So all the businesses in Lee County need to determine, you know, if you're an essential business, how do we keep operating as if nothing's changed? If it's a non-essential business, you know, how can our employees work from home um, in any way possible and keep the business moving? Uh, and then also if, you know, any business out there that, that needs resources as far as emergency loans, you know, information on, on uh, you know, what the, the state and federal and local governments or communities are doing to support local businesses and small businesses right now. Um, so having access to as much information uh, and resources as possible is going to be very important. Um, so uh, yeah, definitely want to want to share as much as we can. I mean, we have a lot of content um, that we can share that that'll be beneficial to businesses. Um, so uh, as far as software goes and, and free services, the big players, they're all going to be involved. And I, I even think, you know, a lot of, I've been talking to a lot of local technology companies in Southwest Florida that are also giving away their services, including Stickboy, you know, to help small businesses get set up with um, some form of a remote working environment, if it's not something that they're comfortable with. Okay, we had a couple of questions come in. Um, WebEx? Question mark, what is, I guess, what is WebEx? And then um, Craig, Craig wanted to know any suggestions for improving speed and our bandwidth while working from home. He's got six people trying to communicate. So maybe you could tackle both of those. I think WebEx, is, I've never used them, but I think that's just a- WebEx is, in my opinion, an older video conferencing solution. Yeah. Um, it's, it's like a go-to meeting. It's been around for a while. Um, so I'm sure it's I'm sure it works fine, but I probably wouldn't recommend WebEx or GoToMeeting. I would recommend Slack for a free video conferencing tool over those two options. Um, if you're not able to use a, a Google Hangouts or a Microsoft Teams, which would probably be the top two solutions there. Um, as far as improving improving speed or bandwidth while working from home, um, I think there's a there's a few different um, things that that you might want to consider. Uh, the tools that we're talking about, the, the making sure that they, your employees have access to tools where they can communicate um, easily and seamlessly. 
making sure you have kind of your your main um, um, day-to-day routine intact. Um, try to, you know, maybe have group conference calls, you know, once a day to, to, to catch up and make sure that everybody's, you know, working on what they're supposed to be working on and make sure everybody's accountable for what they're doing. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I, I think as far as running remote, when it comes to running remote meetings, that can be a challenge in itself. So the first first step is to find one of those tools like a Zoom or something like that um, and, and allow people to have access to it so that they can communicate um, and easily jump on, on conference calls. Um, that's the biggest challenge, I think, right, when we're working from, from home is where it, you can't just turn to the person that's usually next to you and have a conversation with them. So I think communication tools are going to be the biggest, um, the biggest aspect of how you're able to work at full speed and full capacity while working from home. So I don't know, did that answer your question, Craig? That was Craig, and then um, I think Lorraine, Lorraine's helping us out here. She jumped on and helped. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I think Lorraine recommended Slack. Slack, yeah. Slack is a, is a great free tool um, that you can sign up. Uh, you, could, you could include up to six employees easily. Um, and, and there's some limitations, but it's a free tool and it's really convenient and easy. You can set up channels that have certain people in it. Uh, you can set up group chats. You can share pictures and files. Um, so I think Slack's a great one. And then making sure you have a remote uh, a video conferencing tool as well. I see. Here we go. Oh, sorry. Yeah, Slack. Slack. <laughs> Let's see if we have any answers. Let's see. I think we touched on the questions that I had had from our members. Do we have anybody else going on here? Um, I know one of the things, and I'm sorry, somebody was texting me a question, but I know you were talking earlier about working from home. I think a lot of problems, it's like, make sure you have adequate bandwidth, you know, access at your house. But I know like we're with um, Xfinity, we hadn't had any problems. We streamed TV and everything, but they, I think they've actually opened up everything now. They were not, you know, you could just jump on and have unlimited use of right. bandwidth. So I know there, I don't know if you touched on that, but that was a problem with a lot of people at home. They just don't have the bandwidth to, to, to get on and, and really stream and do these things. But it looks like that's all opened up as well from all the carriers yeah i think everybody's doing their part to help out right now um it's tough because we have more people on social media and on the internet and you know working from home um or not, unfortunately not working right now so yeah i have noticed some of the internet speeds have have been suffering um but i think we're kind of to your point philip we're at the mercy of of the, the isp the internet service providers like the comcast no i haven't noticed that about every now and then my tv will slow down a little bit come back but i really haven't noticed i mean there's three of us online here plus the tvs are on and they're streaming i mean i haven't had any service problems but i know that varies from area to area right exactly does anybody have anything we still have some time left i know we have some questions anybody have any questions no, uh, you know, I, Jordan won't do this, but I will. Shameless plug on uh, Stick Boy, but they are partners with the BIA and uh, probably the only, I think the only, one of the only IT companies that are, that are members and they're helping us with our web, new website and database and things like that. But what are you guys offering? I'm sitting here now, I'm not happy with my current provider or I really don't have one. I'm just sort of, you know, Googling and getting help through Google um what do you guys offer because i think y'all are doing some kind of a free service to get people up and running or to help out can you just share a little bit about what you're doing yeah absolutely so um we're essentially waiving our fees um our labor costs so we will provide free support to any business that needs help right now for two months at no cost um and then we'll also be able to help set you up with those remote connection tools so that your employees can work remotely um, so we're doing this, you know, at no cost because we want to help local businesses keep running and keep moving and su su survive this time. 
So we, we, we're kind of feeling like the world is forcing us to work remotely right now. And, you know, we're able to answer in a big way because we've been doing this for 13 years. You know, we have access to a lot of really awesome tools that make it easy uh, and, and very quick to deploy these remote um, configurations for employees. And so we, we're putting ourselves out there. We want to help, um, you know, free support for two months and free remote setup. Um, and anybody, to, you know, anybody that, that knows someone who has a business who's struggling right now, and one of the things they're struggling with is they're not able to allow their employees to, to work remotely or, or work at full capacity remotely. Sometimes that's what it comes down to if you're just not able to operate um, as, as efficiently and effectively as you normally can. Uh, we have a lot of really awesome cheap solutions that can be deployed very quickly um, that are secure. Uh, so, so we're reaching out to everyone in our community um, and, and I know other local uh, technology companies are, are jumping on board and supporting us and offering their services for free. So I know Sygen is a, a local cybersecurity company. They're offering their home security solution for six months for free. Again, add that level, additional level of security, like you mentioned, Philip, uh, for, for all these remote workers. Uh, and then I know Fielder is another company that we're partnering with. They're waiving their fee for businesses who are hiring right now um, for their job board. I think they have about four or 500 local students in FGCU and FSW um, that are in their, you know, in their senior year and they're looking for an opportunity right now. So the businesses that are hiring, um, you know, he's, he's helping make that easier and, and waiving his costs. So there's a lot of other local businesses who are jumping on board and, and giving away free support and free services and free, free resources. Um, we want to help as, as much as we can. At the end of the day, we're very passionate. Um, I'm born and raised in Fort Myers. I know you all know that, Philip. Um, so I'm very passionate about helping the local community and helping local businesses. Um, and we want to keep as many businesses alive as we can right now. So please feel free to reach out. Um, if anybody has any questions or needs information, there's no cost. Um, best way to reach me is on my cell. It's 239-822-3997. I can put it here in the chat. Yeah, type it in there. And then what was the name of that cybersecurity company? Yeah, so the, the company is called Sygent. They're based in Fort Myers, um, and they're, they're a cybersecurity company. And they, one of their offerings, one of their products is a home, Windows 10 home uh, cybersecurity solution. And I will. <laughs> yeah, I was, yeah, Sygent. Uh, yeah, there we go. And then let's see, I think Larray up here, she wanted to know what else do you guys do besides IT? Because I know you're working with us, but it's a separate company are affiliated with you guys. Y'all are helping us develop our new website. And y'all are also helping us develop a new contact management system. Um, I think those are, she just wanted to know what else do you do? Yeah, absolutely. So so we do have a an advanced IT support offering. We have a, a full help desk. We have, you know, engineers, we do security, data backups, you know, email management, all your day-to-day -day IT support. Um, we, we do that, but, but our bread and butter is custom software development. So to Philip's point, we're working on a full custom membership management and event management platform for the Lee Building Industry Association. So Lee BIA will have a whole new um, software platform with a new front end on the, of a, the website will be the front end um, to this event management and membership management platform. So we build custom software platforms like that for our clients, um, whether it be a CRM or an ERP or scheduling software or, you know, you name it. Uh, we build custom software solutions. We do software integrations. Uh, we also do mobile app development. So, you know, anyone looking to develop a mobile app for their business, um, that's something that we specialize in as well. So uh, we're really a, a full service technology advisor. Uh, we help our clients in a lot of different ways, make sure that they're investing their technology budget in the right places so that they're getting the best return. Um, and, and we're really a consultant more than anything. Um, we don't have any products that we sell. Uh, we make recommendations to our clients to help, um, help them grow and help them be more profitable uh, that's what, that's really what it comes down to. Okay. Anything else? I, while, we have, while we have a break and see if we get some more questions, 
Um, we are doing these every Wednesday. So next Wednesday, April 15th, we're going to have um, uh, folks from FGCU come on the construction program. They're going to talk about how the uh, COVID-19 will affect workforce development in the construction industry. Um, not that we need any more problems with workforce development, uh, but uh, that's going to be discussed. So we're, we have a great partnership with FGCU and their construction management program. So we're looking forward to having them on there. And tomorrow is um, our monthly meeting with the building officials. Um, it's not on Zoom, it's on Google Hangouts. Um, so there was a, a, the dirt went out yesterday and then there was a remind, updated one. The one that went out yesterday afternoon, I think it was yesterday afternoon, it has a link in there. So if you want to get on, and there was an email that went out today with um, and join us with our discussion with the building officials, health department, and so forth, uh, you can join us for that. Let's see if we have anything else. Here we go. I'm a lurker. I think he's at, he's asking about scams, email, phishing scams, and and um, uh, different nefarious yeah. email uh, campaigns that you might see out there. People trying to get your information or get you to transfer money. Um, just something that we all, we always see on a day-to-day -day basis. But I think uh, people who are working remotely from home uh, may be more susceptible or may not be um, as uh, paying as much attention to those types of things. So just be careful of any emails you receive asking for sensitive information or, or data. Uh, a lot of times it'll appear as if it's coming from someone on your team, someone in management. I got an email the other day from our CEO, Rima, but she, did, she sure didn't send me an email. It was a phishing scam. It was someone sending me an email pretending to be her, asking me for some transfer of money or some sort of information. I immediately deleted it. Um, but just keep an eye on that. I think it's, it's, it's always something to pay attention to, but especially now more than ever. Yeah, I get, we get those every now and then. You have to be, usually if you really look at them, you, you read them, there's a lot of spelling errors. It doesn't really make sense. I mean, I get them every now and then from members, you know, and it's, they really don't make sense if you really read them. You know, they, they look real though, but, uh, and, uh, and I will mention this, uh, Craig, uh, for next week's FGCU, I think Craig, is he still on? Capano, Craig's on. He's going to be the one uh, doing the presentation and him and maybe some other folks on his team doing the presentation next Wednesday with FGCU. So thank you. Do we have anything, anybody else on here? I know a lot of people can. We need to get Lorraine back to the beach. She's, uh, you know, and uh, I'm going to find it. I, we need to unmute Lorraine. I need to figure out how she changed her background. I, I can't figure this out. I'm trying to put me in the sne snowstorm or something. So. <laughs> I said I was getting sunburned. <laughs> I got to get it. Um, no, when I just first joined, you can, it gives you like a option on the oh, right. I have to check that out. I didn't see it. Okay. There's one that you can download too. I had heard a lot about it and I was like, oh, I won't. But then I figured you guys are fun enough. I could do this and, <laughs> and not have to be too serious. <laughs> this is my... Hey. Yeah, that's true. My best crowd. Hey, Jordan. Yep. Why don't you tell, you tell Josh we're in the middle, he's calling me, your partner, tell him we're in the middle of a uh, <laughs> webinar. He's me and, and slacking me as well, so. <laughs> oh, does anybody have anything else? I mean, we've got a few minutes left, but um, we can always get off early and everybody can get back to their day. Anybody have anything else? Jordan, thank you very much for doing this and, and the questions. And you put your information in. Please feel free to reach out to Jordan. Uh, give him a call. And uh, thank you guys for participating and spread the word. Hopefully we can get more people to participate as we move forward. And if you have any ideas on topics or things you'd like us to do, please email us at the office. It's emily at bia.net, philip at bia.net, savannah at bia.net. Whichever one of those you can remember, shoot us an email. And uh, Emily's sort of spearheading putting these together. So uh, we'd love to have your feedback and thoughts on, on topics so we can keep these going. Because if we have a lot of interest, we can do more than one of these a week. So let us know. Thank you, guys. And everybody be safe and have a great day. Thanks, Emily. Uh, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. Everybody stay safe. Take care. Keep moving. We got to call uh,